What's going on guys, Kevin here today, and I'm going to be going over the Vertex 4 SSD upgrade for the 2012 Mac Mini. Now I went out and I picked up a 128GB model of this SSD, as well as the iFixit kit to make this easier to go ahead and open up the Mac Mini and do this. And the iFixit kit comes with a screwdriver and a whole bunch of bits so that it makes it really easy to do this, as well as a ribbon cable to go ahead and plug into your solid state drive so that you can actually connect it to the logic board of your Mac Mini. Now. Before I did this, I went ahead and I had already opened my Mac Mini up previous to actually getting the SSD, and I ended up replacing the drive, the original drive that came with the Mac Mini, and putting it in the lower bracket. Now, I did this because I knew it would make it a lot easier to go ahead and actually pop the SSD in there when it came. So this made it a lot faster, so when you actually do this, it might take a lot longer. But uh, either way, it's a pretty easy process. You have to take the whole thing apart, though, so it's a little bit intimidating. But once you do that, you just screw your grommets into your SSD or your HDD, whatever you're putting in there, and you go ahead and you connect it to the logic board, and it's as easy as that. So once that's done, you can go ahead and close up your Mac Mini, and you're pretty much set to go. So after loading the operating system on here and everything, I did a speed test, and I'm getting some pretty ridiculous speeds, although they're not the speeds as advertised. Um, I went and closed out all of my applications and, you know, everything that was downloading and everything that was copying over and whatnot. I ended up getting pretty good speeds. I got 400 megabytes and then 460 megabytes. So... It's not terrible, but it's not as advertised. Now, if you remember my older videos from Benchmarks, uh, I raised the bar on Benchmarks a lot. I went from 932 to 1100 on the dot, which is a big jump with the SSD and RAM upgrade. Now, if you want to see further in-depth video of you know what my Benchmarks were, there's a video right there. But um, we're going to go ahead and do the classic boot up test. And this ended up taking you know about 18 seconds. It's just going to go ahead and count through it and boot it up. But previous to this, with my old hard drive, which is a 5400 RPM drive, it took over a minute to boot up. So this is, you know, a great improvement. And overall, I would say a solid state drive is probably one of the best things you can do to instantly, you know, upgrade any computer. It makes it so much faster. It's day and night faster. Um, and, you know, you can't really know that until you get an SSD. But anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, this is just a quickly thrown together video of the solid state drive upgrade. Um, but if you want to look at some of the other Mac Mini videos, they're right there. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.